Hi, I'm Ken Brooks. Welcome to another tip from the workbench. Today we're going to talk about a spring modification, a specific modification that is. We're going to talk about modifying a spring that you've had to replace. And I'm talking about a coil spring. you got to replace a coil spring in a gun, whatever purpose that spring is. So you find a spring that's the right diameter, the wire's the right thickness, the coil's the right thick distance apart, you clip it off, shove it in the gun, and it, away we go, right? Not necessarily. Each end of that spring, once we've clipped it, is now has a sharp edge on it. And a lot of your kits, your spring coil spring kits, uh, have a sharp end to begin with. So what do you do about that? That sharp end is going to dig into, A, its seat, or if there's some sort of a rod or a guide, it's going to want to dig into that. So we kind of want it to look original. Most of your original springs will either be enclosed on both ends, or they'll at least be enclosed on one end and and blunted on the face. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, in our close-up, you can see that the top two coils are enclosed. They come together. It's called a closed coil. And on the face, we're flat. So that's going to want to sit against its seat, whatever its seat may be, and not want to work itself around whatever it's supposed to be around, guide rod or plunger, whatever it is. Now, turning it over, you can see our example piece has a sharp edge right there. You can see we're not enclosed at all. Now, most of the time we can't enclose this, but sometimes you can pinch it down. That one's going to pinch down a little bit and stay a little closer. That helps, but most often I like to enclose and pinch in this last coil. And I just simply work it around, squeezing it lightly. So now you can see that that coil is tighter than this coil that would fit onto a plunger tight and snug and hold it. Now, granted, if, if there's supposed to be a rod moving back and forth in that, you wouldn't want to do that. But that tightens it up. The last procedure I want to do is put a flat face on that. Let's step over to the one-inch belt and show you how that's done. I have our one-inch belt, and I have our spring, and we want to put a flat on that to keep that from wanting to wind around whatever it's guiding. <laughs> You can see that I put the flat on the open coil and then I twisted it some while I turned the whole spring body so I can get a flat section for three quarters of that diameter. Now you can see that we have a flat starting where the end of the wire is and coming around three quarters of the way of that whole turn, clear up to here. So we've got a good flat for that spring to sit against its seat, whatever it is. Now it's not going to want to work itself out and around whatever it's sitting around. That's just a quick modification that helps your spring stay where it's supposed to, last longer, and the longer and better a gun works, the happier your customers are going to be. We'll see you next time.